What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to solve a common problem inside of Twin Motion: the issue of the move function or object origin being way away from your object inside of your renderings. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so sometimes when you import an external model, like this bench model from SketchUp into Twin Motion, you can run into some issues. All right, so let's say we were to import this bench model to our scene inside of Twin Motion. So if I go find the model right here, click on it, and then try to move it around. Notice how my object origin is right here, but I can't actually see my object. And so the reason for that is because the object axis is far away from where my actual bench is. So when I move this around, notice how, for example, um, my bench is not where my object origin is, right? So my bench is way over here, but the object origin or the tool that you use to move everything around is over here. And so the reason for this is because inside of SketchUp, I have this bench set up and if I click in it, you can see how the object is actually way away from the object axes or the object origin inside of the SketchUp component. This happens a lot if you uh, have a component like this and you move it around in SketchUp. So if you move it like further away like this, um, if you accidentally do that, notice how what you're doing is you're moving it away from your object axes. Now ideally you would want to model this where your object axes are based on wherever you want the placement point of your object to be. So usually I would place the model axes like this. But if you're dealing with an imported model that you can't really control or edit, this can be a little bit frustrating because you'd have to go find it and open it in the original program. However, in this version of Twin Motion, I'm not sure if this is new or not, but this version of Twin Motion actually has an option if you click on this little arrow right here to set your object pivot point. So that's basically the same as your object origin in SketchUp. Well, if you click on this, if you click on pivot edit, what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to move the object pivot closer to your object. So what I can do is I can move this so that it's actually level with the base of my object foot right here. So what I've done is I've basically changed this so that now whenever I go back into move mode right here, my object origin is going to be close to my object where it wasn't before. So obviously this is a huge time saver um, and it's way easier to move this bench around now as opposed to where it was before because before it was like way off in the distance. So you can use this in order to quickly reset or set that object pivot. Now there is an option over here for reset pivot. So what that's going to do is that's going to take the pivot changes and wipe them out so that your pivot goes back to where it was before. In addition, there's also an option for center pivot. What that's gonna do is that's gonna center your pivot point on your object right here. And I don't think this is 100% precise. This is obviously not centered, but what you can do is you can use center pivot in order to get it close and then do your final edit like this. So instead of you having to drag it over and all of that, I would start by just centering it and then editing the pivot that way. Now, this object is much, much easier to work with inside of twin motion. All right, and so one other thing while we're talking about pivot points is notice how right now, if we were to move our bench over here and let's say we wanted to make a copy of it, so we could just hold the, we could just hold the shift key like this and make a copy like this. So what that does is that makes it really easy to make a copy inside of twin motion. However, that works really well as long as the object that you're using aligns with your world axis. Right? However, let's say that we had a bench that wasn't 100% square like this one. And this isn't the best example, but we're gonna go ahead and go with it for right now. Let's say that you had a bench that was like this, that wasn't aligned with the world axes like this, and you wanted to make that same kind of copy. Well, now it gets a little bit more tricky, right? Because you have to hold the shift key and maybe use the tool right here and kind of like eyeball where that is. So in order to make your copy, right? And we can make a couple copies, but then if you're off at all, then things start getting really weird. Um, well, what you can do instead is there's an option in here called toggle local slash world axis. And so what toggle local slash world axis is going to do is this is gonna take your object axis right here. And right now this is just aligned with the X, Y, and Z directions that are actually inside of the world, right? But each object has its own local direction associated with it as well. Well, if I click on this, notice how this changes. So what it's doing is it's aligning my axis with this object right here instead of with the world axes. 
Well, what that means is that means that now, if I click on this and then hold the Shift key, notice how because this is aligned with my object, I can make copies, whoops, I can make copies by clicking and dragging on this line and holding the Shift key. And those copies are gonna be perfectly aligned with my original bench. And so what that does is that allows you to really quickly create copies and make movements of objects that are actually aligned with objects rather than the world axes. So that can be a big time saver. Notice how that is gonna be completely different um, depending on what you have selected. So that can be a massive time saver inside of Twin Motion. So this has been a big issue in previous versions of Twin Motion. I don't know if this is a new function or it's something that I just totally missed up to this point because Twin Motion did some videos on it on their uh, YouTube channel. But either way, this is a huge, huge improvement in the way that you can edit objects inside of Twin Motion. I'm really excited about it. I will link to some other videos about Twin Motion 2022 on this page. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.